Now it's time to finish up the settings for our blog page type. If you saw the first video, we made the basics settings. Now we need to put it all together. Again we go to the dashboard. But this time, we are going to add some stacks. We are going to do this a little unexpected. We will use stacks to be able to change things in the future. So let's start with clicking there, add stack button. We are going to call this stack, C5DK header. This stack will contain all blocks we need in the header section of our blog page. This enables us to change design and content in the feature on all blog pages. Click there, add stack button. We can now add our blocks to the stack. We need to see our blog title, blog description and publishing date. So we are going to use the same block three times. Namely there, page attribute display block. The first instance will contain our blog title, using the page name. And we will format this as headline h1. Because this is an attribute displayer, the content is dynamic and will show the current page name. Let's add the second instance of this display block. This time we want to display the page description. You will discover that this attribute display block is very powerful. You are able to display all kind of dynamic attribute content. This time we will format the output as standard paragraph text. You will see that nothing is displayed at first. That is because this page does not contain any description content. Now let's add the last instance of the attribute display block. This time we want to display the page publishing date. So we simply choose there, page date published attribute from the list. On the options tab, we can format how the date is published. When finished, click add. We have now added our blocks to our first stack. Namely there, C5DK header stack. When we add this stack to our page, all blocks inside will be displayed. We now just need to approve the changes to this stack, and return to the stack list. Simply click there, approve changes button. And next, click there, back to stacks. We are now ready to add our second blog page stack. Let's call this one for, C5DK footer. This stack will contain the blog page footer blocks. At this time, only one block will be added. But I think you get the idea. Let's add the conversation block to this footer stack. This will enable users to comment on your blog. The conversation block has a lot of settings, and for further detail I will recommend reading the documentation pages on concrete5.org. But make basic settings first. You will always be able to change this on a later time. Remember, that no one will see this page before you actually have written your first blog. Also remember that, all the content and design on your blog page is entirely up to you. And there is no limit for what you can do. The page design of your blog page, is your signature and that's how readers will see you. As I said, there is a lot of settings in the conversation block. And some of you would not even use this block on your blog page. Please see this as an example on how a blog page can look like and function. It is not the only way, to set up a blog page. And you probably have your own ideas about how your blog page should look like. There is a lot of blogs on the internet, and you could get your inspiration by browsing around and see how others have created the blog. Now let's finish up the configuration of this conversation block, and see what we else have to set up for our blog page type. The conversation block has been added to the stack, and we just need to approve the changes. Now, let's go back to the stack list, and add the last stack for our blog page type. 
This stack we will call C5DK sidebar. Let's add the stack. In this stack we will also only add one block, namely the attribute display block. We do this for simply to be able to display the page thumbnail on the page. Again here we have some options to set. And we will set the height and width in pixels for the thumbnail. And again, this is a demonstration configuration, so the settings might not fit your needs. We could add some other blocks here, that would be useful for a blog. And one block comes in mind, namely their, topic list block. But before we can use that block, it's necessary to configure the topic list on the system and settings page. We will show this on a later time. You can see here that their, topic list is empty, and by this, it's simply not feasible to do this now. Let's finish up by approve changes in this stack. And let's take a final look at the stack list. You can see here that we have three stacks for our blog. Let's use them on our blog page type. We head back to our page type list, and we now have to finish the settings for our blog page type. Let's click on the Edit Form button. We are going to make the page type Composer ready. We do this because we think it is good to keep the concrete five thought and we will by that be able to edit our blog pages from the composer. First we add a control set, and we call it for, page settings. Then we add a second control set with a name, page content, that will contain our content block later used on the blog page. Now, first we will add form elements, to the page settings control set. First we add the page name. Then we add the URL slug. And the public date and time. We also need the page description. The page template is already set up in the basics settings. So we only need to choose the page location attribute. This is all we need to do for the page settings section. Now let's add our blog content block to the page content section. We use the standard concrete 5 content block for this. But we are going to edit this instance of the content block to know that it is used in our blog page type. We will give it a new label, blog content. All form elements, have now been added. And we are almost finished. We have set basic details, edited the form and now we need to set a default attribute. We need to be sure that our blog pages do not populate our menus. And because of that, we need to set the, exclude from NAF attribute. This is done in this demonstration, but not essential for the blog to work. We are now ready to add our blocks, stacks and design our page. We do this by clicking on the, output button. And then there, edit defaults button. You now see the empty blog page type. And we need to put it into edit mode. Just click the pencil button up here. Now we just add our stacks and blocks. We start with our C5DK header stack. Sometimes it can be a little confusing, because there is no menu point for adding a stack. We have to use the. Add block menu point for this. And then here in the site panel, change the panel from blocks to stacks in the top left corner of the panel. Now let's find our C5DK header stack in the list. And simply click on it. The stack is added. 
and we can continue with adding the next stack to our page. This time we will add the C5 DK footer stack. Let's find it in our list and click on it. Because this theme has a second main area, I think we will move this stack down to that area. To do this, simply pick and drag the little cross near the top right corner of the stack. Let's add the last stack to the sidebar, using the same procedure as the other stacks. This time we will add the C5 DK sidebar stack. We are now finished with our stacks, and we only have one last thing to do, namely adding our blog content block. But because this block is a composer instance, we need to find it down below in the block panel list. Here you will find the composer content block. Click on that to insert it on the page. Be sure it's the right instance of the block. As you see here, all composer instances of blocks are displayed as a blue framed block. There is nothing else to do here. All our content is added. We just need to exit edit mode for the page, and we are finished. All our preparation for our blog page type is now finished. That is not entirely true. We still need to add a very important block to the page. You see, to make our C5DK blog package work, we have made a blog button block, that enables you to control and write blogs from the front end of your site. But that will be explained in a later tutorial. We will now test the blog page type. We do this by opening it in Composer. If it looks alright in there, the blog page type will also work in our C5DK blog. As you see here, all the Composer form elements are present. And this page type is ready to be used. We will actually not make a new page at the moment, so we simply discard the draft to delete it. This is it. The blog page type has now been created, and we are ready to configure the last things of the C5DK blog package. This we will show in a later tutorial. Thanks for watching, see you in the next tutorial.